Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Allie's Amazing Sense. If you're new here, my name is Allison, your independent Scentsy consultant, and today I'm going to show you a warmers tour. Um, this is my first time doing this type of video, so we'll see how it goes. Um, I did have a request for it, and I thought it'd be a fun time now to show you what I have out for spring, summer, before we go into fall, winter, and I, I go full on pumpkin here pretty soon. Um, but... I do have a lot of warmers set up in my house, whether they're being um, actively used or not. I probably have more than 20. So uh, if you're not into home fragrance and wax and stuff, that probably sounds a little crazy, <laughs> but I enjoy it. This is, I, I love home fragrance. So let's get started. Um, hopefully it's not too choppy as I pause and move throughout my house. We're starting here in my open concept um, and disclaimer, if there's, you know, mess in the background, this is real life. So it is what it is. But, um, I have an island here in my kitchen where I have two warmers on it. The first one is this ceramic, um, etched hummingbird. And you can see it's got etches of hummingbirds, um, including that big one, but also some smaller ones and floral design and stuff and, I just have a clear bulb in that, but it is pretty with colored bulbs. The next one on the other side of the island here is my Kindness Warmer. This is also 25 watt ceramic, uh, currently with a clear bulb, and I just really love this warmer. It really makes me happy. So this one, I usually have up year round. Over here in my dining room area, I have this current setup on top of my bookshelf where um, I really haven't changed this out in a long time. Um, all my other warmers are pretty seasonal, but this corner I have not changed out in a long time. So um, I have that uh, metal owl thing on the wall that my dad gave me for my birthday. And with this picture that Maddie painted, it just kind of gives me a Southwestern feel. So um, some pottery that a friend of mine made, but I have Three warmers up here, but only two are plugged in. So the two on the ends are both 40 watt glass warmers. I think all of our 40 watts are glass, but um, oh, what is this called? Rock quarry, I think. Something quarry is the one on the left there. The one on the right is a new one, I think spring, summer, and I believe it's called sandstone. Or something like that it looks more of a purple color when it's off it's really pretty and then the one in the middle I don't remember the name but that was a scent of the month I think in like a July of one year and that is I believe a 20 watt and uh, you can see the wax part of the dish is actually back here and it has kind of a plastic um, wrap around it but anyway there's that Coming into my kitchen, I have two mini warmers. Uh, this one is, I don't remember the name of it, but it's a glass mini warmer, iridescent maybe. And that's also pretty with a colored bulb, but currently has a clear bulb in it. I really should have looked up some of these names beforehand, I apologize, but this is the other one in my kitchen. Uh, I wanna say Midnight Floral. And it's also a glass mini warmer, very pretty. I like this one in a bathroom with a blue or a purple bulb and it doesn't put out much light at nighttime that way. Okay, into my living room. I don't know what that is, some kind of toy sticking out the back there, but this is my beat up Cubby Entertainment Center space where we have the TV and a lot of kids toys. And up on the surface I have two warmers. The first one is, this is actually probably my favorite warmer. This is uh, the white salt rock warmer. So if you um, <clears throat> have a current catalog, we have the pink Himalayan salt warmer. That's what it's called, Himalayan salt warmer. And that's been around for a few seasons, but the white one was a, scent, a warmer of the month in January a few years ago, probably four years ago. Um, they had two warmers of the month at that time. And this was before I was a consultant. We had this white um, rock warmer. 
<clears throat> salt rock warmer and then the pink one and so the white one was only available that month and it's really pretty um, I love this one I like to put uh, blue bulbs in it to give it like an ice look but you can see the the texture here on it with the salt crystals it's really cool they said when um, I got it that the shape would change over time as you melt the wax and stuff um, but I, I don't have anything to compare it to. But I have this out pretty much year-round. 25 watt, that one is. Over on the other side here, I have my Alice in Wonderland Element Warmer. And this one I haven't used much this season. It's plugged in, but it's not on um, like an auto outlet like a lot of my other warmers out here are. And so uh, this is really cool. This came out with the Alice in Wonderland collection. It's like the teacup with the 10 sixth right there. Cheshire cat there. And then this is actually the dish. This giant cup is the dish. And it's got Alice going down the rabbit hole. It's a little dirty in there because end of season. I need to change out my, I need to clean out my dishes. But you can kind of move it to have whatever design you want on here. Oh. Um, and it's just really cool. Uh, that's one of my favorite licensed warmers. And yeah, a huge dish. You can fit so much wax in here. And I think it's a 15 watt or 13 watt element. So it does pretty good. Over here, another one that I haven't used much at all this season. I just have it here is... This was a warmer of the month, like an aloe type style. This is also an element warmer. So it uses a hot plate instead of a bulb. And this is actually a separate Scentsy um, cord concealer stand. Don't mind all the gunk here. but um, So what you could do is put any warmer on this. And it has um, holes in the back where you can wind up the cord and hide your cord that way. So these are cool. We have a couple of those in the catalog. And then right here next to it I have... Um, I don't remember the name of this one, but this is a 25 watt, I think it's glass, unless it's ceramic etched. Oh, I'm not sure. But this is a really pretty warmer, and this one I actually have a pink bulb in. This one is going to stick around next season. You can see the book there that Maya made, and she drew that. Didn't she do a good job? Anyway, um, right here I have one of my premium diffusers. This is our, or is this a deluxe? I think this is a premium. It's the larger one, which um, can go for over a day on low or about a day um, on high. And you see I have it in color changing mode. Um, I love this diffuser. I have three of these. <laughs> so one out here, one in my girl's room, and one in my bedroom. And I really like that diffuser. Over here in the other corner of the living room, we have um, another type of diffuser and a couple warmers. This might look familiar to you guys because I have shot some videos sitting in this corner of my couch. Um, up here we have kind of an aloe. This is a hot plate uh, element warmer. Um, this, this is in the catalog. And you can take these out if you want to decorate it like little Christmas trees at Christmas time. And it came with those fake rocks. So that's pretty cool. This one is awesome I love this warmer um, I'm probably gonna leave it out for winter but um, is it called night sky I don't remember I got this like in a flash sale and I really love it and if you guys have read um, a court of thorns and roses and seen uh, or like read about um, night court this kind of reminds me of that like the city of Valeris okay this is my one of my premium diffusers. So this type of diffuser I have two of. And what this is, is um, it's got a smaller water reservoir, but it has this removable shade where you can, see that's the actual diffuser. And then you can pick different shades. So I have several shades. I'll be changing out my shade for the season two. Okay, so that's my open concept. Let's move down the hallway now. Okay, now we're in Maddie's bedroom, 
and um, this warmer is no longer available. I forget what it's called. It's a tin warmer. I think it's 25 watts, but it might be 20. It was only around for like one or two seasons. It's cool how it casts like the flowers, um, but it does have the back is solid, which is kind of weird. Where's the back on here? Oh, maybe not. I must be thinking of a different warmer. Anyway, this wasn't around very long, but I do think it's a very pretty warmer. Okay, now we're in my girls' room. They have three warmers and a diffuser. Um, so this is their dresser. Uh, a mo rare moment of being clean. We have three warmers on here. We have the Cinderella mini warmer on a tabletop base stand. And then over here we have Dumbo. We love our Dumbo warmer. It's so cute. Um, I did lose this little flag. There's a little red flag on top, but I think maybe it fell behind the dresser. Um, so 25 watt, I believe could be 20. Here we have the circus lights that come out and then like all licensed warmers, it's got a fun little, um, oh, dish and that's Timothy Q mouse hanging out there in the dish. And then over here we have baby Yoda warmer, which I got on clearance and my girls love him. And then here's their, um, diffuser, <laughs> sorry. And then actually over here, this is a do doTERRA humidifier that just takes water and you can use essential oil. So it kind of the same concept, but I haven't used it through a winter. So I have it here ready to go in the winter. Okay, now we're in my bedroom. And I know I keep saying, oh, this is my favorite warmer. This is my favorite warmer. This might be my favorite warmer as well. <laughs> I love this warmer. This is the Accord warmer. I have this on my dresser and as you can see it's essentially three warmers in one so it's three dishes with um element warmers i don't know the wattage on this but this i think was available in a gray color as well before my time i did end up getting this like off of ebay and i love this warmer and i leave this on all the time so if you guys um ever come across the cord warmer it's awesome i highly recommend this warmer up here um are i have a little like kind of weird shelf that i have some warmers that i don't use very often because even though as you can see i have them on an electric uh outlet where i can turn them on and off on my phone i can't reach up there without a stool so it's hard for me to change that wax but i have a couple fragrance flowers that i'm trying to get all the oil out of uh, and then I have these two warmers and they're both lavender themed the La lavender love maybe I don't know the mini one is available just till the end of August and then the other one was a limited time warmer from the life's a garden collection and they're both very beautiful and um, both ceramic and I think the large one is 25 watts so pretty good performer okay now we're in my master bath uh, which is actually a very small bathroom, but um, this is the, looks like it needs a cleaning. Uh, what is this? Bubbled Iridescent Mini. I love this warmer. Um, and look at it off. Very pretty, but a little dirty. I actually usually have a blue or a purple bulb in this, in this bathroom. This bathroom, I like to do darker um, colored bulbs so that it doesn't put off any light into my bedroom. Same reason I have the Element Warmer warmers there in my bedroom. So that is the upstairs. So let's move downstairs now. Real quick here, when you come in my front door, uh, it's a split level and there's no outlets down here in the entryway. So I do have this um, shoe thing that I got off of Amazon, which is pretty cool if you're, oh, don't mind that mess, I haven't cleaned there today, but if you're tight on space, it's very narrow and it's it's good for shoe storage. So just up there right now, it's very dusty. Um, I have this fragrance flower and then my curls just put some rocks around it. But I usually have a little um, decorative floral thing up here with a fragrance flower in it. But right now I don't have that. Okay, next up is my office, a rather messy office. I have three warmers in here and a diffuser. Oh, I forgot to show you the other large diffuser in my bedroom, but whatever. So um, I have this one. I don't remember the name on the left. I think that's Stain and Catalog. I'm not sure. 
I have this one, which was a warmer of the month. Let me turn them off because they do both look different off. Oops. And then this other purple one. I'm going for a purple theme. This is a purple mason jar one that was a summer collection warmer. So this is this one off. Very pretty. And then, yeah, the mason jar one. I'm just going to, that one's kind of hard to get to. So I'm going to leave that one on for now. Oh, and then if you turn over here, uh, that's my diffuser for now and my wax. And then that flower thing, that's what I usually have in my living room or in my entryway with a fragrance flower. You can see right now it has um, Ursula Poor Unfortunate Souls. In my messy laundry room, I have two warmers. These are both being discontinued the end of this season. Um, this is, is it Glitter and Glow? I don't know. It's a 20 watt, like, glittery uh, gold warmer. And then this one, I forget what this one is called, but this is really pretty too. And this one I think is a good one to have Christmas time. So kind of surprised that they're discontinuing it. I think these were both fall winter ones when they first came out. They're both 20 watt. Um, and then that's a mercury glass one, I think, there, that green one. Okay. In my library here, I have three warmers plugged in, but a couple ones that are not plugged in on the shelf. So the Winnie the Pooh honey one is not plugged in. That blue agate one, agate one, is not plugged in. This 40-watt one up here, this green one, that was a scent of the, or a warmer of the month last summer. We have the Harry Potter warmer. Uh, I think that's a 25 watt. And then the other one that's plugged in over here, sorry about the mess again. Uh, this is real life. That's the mini blue agate warmer on a tabletop base. Before we go out to the garage to show you my last warmer, this is most of my warmer boxes. So a lot of them are empty, but not all of them. So it's easy for me to switch them out, grab my pumpkin warmers, grab my Christmas warmers. Do I have a lot? Yes. Am I going to get rid of any? No. I did forget to show you guys my um, wall fan diffusers. I have two, but I think I only have one plugged in in my hallway right now. This is the last warmer I have to show you. Um, this is in my garage, which almost feels like a shame to put such a pretty one in the garage. But I put it out here because it's a good performing 25 watt ceramic. And it looks like there's a little bug on there. Um... This is poppies or something like that, and this is being discontinued too. This is just on a shelf in here. Um, I have had up to two warmers in here, but my husband doesn't like me taking up all his outlets with warmers in his garage. So anyway, out here I usually warm mostly scents I don't like or very long last. If I, there's a long lasting scent, I'll put it out here. Or right now in my laundry room and down here, I'm trying to get through all my non scentsy um, wax. So that's what I'm doing here. But yeah, that is all of my warmers I currently have up for spring, summer. Pretty much had them up all season. Most of them have clear bulbs right now, but I do play around with them sometimes. And if you did like this video, um, let me know if you would like to see one when I put out my fall de decor warmers and then my um, winter warmers. Because I do have uh, seasonal warmers for that type of thing. Also, let me know if you have any of these warmers or what your favorite warmer is that you have. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye, guys. Sorry, guys. That did not uh, save before when I tried to record my bathroom. But this is the, um, I think it's called Fish in the Sea Mini Warmer. And it looks quite a bit different on than it does off. That's it off. I also wanted to show you this that I got from, um, oops, um, Hobby Lobby. So kind of matches that. Anyway, this is the warmer I currently have in my main bath.